Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and today we are going to be talking about programming 102, which is loops and groups. So let's get started. All right, so what I got going on here today is similar to what I did on my drone build the other day, which is mimicking the properties of the top thrusters to the bottom thruster. So you see how the forward thrusters or the backwards thrusters, whichever one you want to talk about in the top, uh, whatever that does, it's going to transport that information over to the bottom thrusters itself. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And it's going to involve some updating and some loops and basically pulling properties and then placing it into other things. So let's pop over to our Visual Studios. Now, if you haven't watched episode one, which is programming 101, uh, I show you guys how to install Visual Studios and all the stuff that you need to get it working so you can start programming. Yeah, if you haven't watched that, watch that first. So here we go. This is our basic little shell script we don't need this stuff here we don't need a lot of this stuff over here mainly it's these two uh, little things that we need over here just to get everything going but because we set it up it's going to have this in-game script type thing over here and anyway first thing we need to do is uh, set up a program so it runs on a certain ticker so what i mean by that is basically um, it will update itself every so frequency or every so uh milliseconds and to do that we would have to set up our runtime so we're going to do run time dot update frequency equals update frequency dot update so you could see that's update one update 10 and update 100 the fastest is update one which is like one millisecond while 10 is 10 milliseconds and so forth so i'm going to be using 10 because we don't really need well we could use either one but i'm going to use 10 and remember to close that off with a semicolon. And now that we have our update frequency up, I actually don't need this information to save some text. There you go. Uh, we're going to remember that we only need this type, this block area. Now, first thing we need to do is that we are dealing with thrusters itself. So in thrusters, they have a number between 1.0 to 0 0.00000. So knowing that there is a decimal point in there, we are dealing with either a double or a float. So I'm going to be using a float integer instead. And we're going to call this variable thrust. So this basically will store our thrust information. And I'm going to declare it with zero. So it's going to have nothing for now. And to be honest, if you guys are learning how to program in Space Engineers, it's a little bit hard. I mean, it's not a great platform to learn programming. I mean, you could, but it's not a great platform to learn. Uh, I would definitely learn somewhere else first as far as programming goes. But if you already know a little basics about programming, it's not as hard to understand what it needs. So a lot of the things that I do... Uh, I pull from our properties, which is from this API index, which I'll leave a link down in the description below. So you can see like how it has all the stuff. I, my motors, I, my oxygen, and it gives me the properties of what I could pull on that certain component. And this is, this helps me a lot when I'm trying to figure out what I need. So popping back in here, uh, we're going to need to figure out what thruster we need to pull the information from. So I'm going to set this variable called forward thrust. And I'm gonna grid, get this from the grid terminal system, get block name, get block with name right here. You see this? And the name we're gonna name this thruster is F thrust. Okay? As I my thrust. Close that off. So basically, it's gonna set this name, whatever it finds, from your grid block terminal system. And it's a thruster component, and it's going to give it all the properties to this variable. So now I could just call the variable. So I'm going to be using thrust, and I'm going to set this variable with f thruster. And the, what I want is current thrust. So basically, it's going to take the current thrust of that forward thruster and put that number into this this variable itself so this will constantly have a property setting and whether it's being 1 or 0 0.9 or whatever it is this will be it so next what I want to do since I was able to get my properties or get the thing that I need I have to place it in a certain block and since I have four thrusters going downward you see like here what I'm gonna need is to group those and then uh, set the properties in that group. So I'm going to have to loop through each one. So what I'm going to do here is list I my 
terminal block block and set that variable as a list so new list because you know if you have more than one item it's going to be a list so that's what I'm doing right now building a list my terminal block close that off so now I set this block variable um, actually I'll put an s so I know it's so it's multiple uh, so now that I set this block with a list of I my terminal blocks I could now import stuff into that list so I my block group and I'm gonna call this group equals grid terminal system get block with group name you see this and now I'm able to pull whatever group name I need so it's gonna be thrust all right so now I have these two variables set now I could use this blocks and I'm gonna set that property so group so now we know the group is gonna be the thrust group get blocks and it's gonna inject it into blocks all right so now we have taken all the thrusters you know whatever it is in this group name and then we joined it together into this blocks so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna loop through them so for each variable block as blocks open and open the bracket and in here I do my little magic so variable thrust with an s because it's a different one than thrust all right block as I my thrust and then thrust dot thrust dot thrust override equals floats and this is going to be thrust the properties that we are setting from before and that is it so basically what I have done here is get the list create a list for this block uh, grab the groups which is the thrusters itself merge them together so now the blocks will have the groups in it all right and then loop through the blocks itself and make this new variable in here so we could control each one so this is multiple this is single and then for each thrust as block as I my thrust so I'm setting the property for each block as a thruster and I'm gonna take that thrust which is this property right here and do a thrust override of the number that I pulled from earlier does that make sense uh, uh, it makes sense to me I think so now I'm gonna copy this hop back into my space engineers and in this programming block first thing we need to do is actually group these thrusts so this one we already know which is the top thruster and you could check by doing thrust override you can see that flame going up right what you want to do is set that as the name nope not group name set that as the name f thrust okay and these four which is the bottom thrusters you want to group those as thrust yeah save so now I have thrust and F thrust and in my programming block I can edit take all that and paste my little program I can now check the code and I have a little error in programming line 22 which is oh you know what it's not as it's in block in blocks okay check code namespace in list could not be found you are missing or the okay so something in my list is not right so let me take a look at this i think that's supposed to be capital there you go see those little typos that help me decode what i'm going doing wrong but all right now compilation is successful if i hit okay um, no errors show up over here and it should be running and if i was to pull back a little bit adjust the thrust on F thrust so if I go full blast you see how the bottom thrusters changes as well that's because it's taking the properties from the top thruster and applying them to the bottom thruster and in this little tutorial if you take a look at it uh, we were able to use the group so 
if you have like lights group or any other group that you want to put in now we're able to manipulate the data that we pulled from up top so that is it guys basically we grabbed we were able to grab the properties put it into a loop grab a group name and apply the things that we pulled the data from now if you guys have any uh, suggestions or recommendations on what programming i should do next uh, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to put up a tutorial together for it. And if you guys have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.